Yo, yo, what's up? Got out here, did a little bit of work today. Got the grass cut. Moved a little bit of mulch over there beside the um, AC units. Um, I bring to you the John Deere 1025R. I figured I made a couple videos um well one video about the atvs that we have haven't really did anything on the tractor um this is the smallest kind of full functioning tractor that john deere makes um this one's outfitted with the 60d <coughs> excuse me auto connect a mowing deck and the 120r loading bucket Got lazy and didn't feel like pushing this from the front of the house <coughs> but let's see I sprayed it all down nice and clean I don't fully remember all the specs and, and things like that but I think it's 25 to 27 horsepower something like that um, it has enough horsepower to you know make you feel like you're going at a decent speed when you're in high gear um, as well as enough horsepower to spin your rpms for your pto um whether or not you're using your rear pto to say uh spin the tiller or the bottom pto in order to use your deck um, as you see here the different ptos that you have you got you know center and rear or you can spin both of them and that's the uh, rpms that it are spending at 540 and 2100 um, it uses diesel fuel, <coughs> so I look kind of crazy. Sometimes I end up at the um, at the gas station in my Tesla, pulled up to the diesel pump, and everybody looks at me weird until I actually get out and I got a little gas gas can with me to uh, my little diesel diesel can with me. But this is it. This is removable. I could take the bucket off. Um, I'm thinking about getting, I forgot what they're called, but it's some little attachments that I could put on the mowing deck to where I could actually pick it up with this front piece here um, and be able to lift and carry that, that deck around. It's, uh, it is pretty heavy. I can move it and drag it around and, you know, when I want to, but it's heavy, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> good tires on it haven't really been stuck at all i did go back in the woods one day um, when we had just cleared it out and it rained really bad and i i got it stuck in there and that's why i said aj was able to pull me out but um i, I haven't really added anything onto it either let me think i did add this um the quick connect back here for the back that way I could just back up to my box blade. I could back up to the tiller that I have back over here and um, and just kind of quick load up. I need to tighten that back up. I just sprayed it down. And if you remember one of my last videos where I was actually cleaning the deck, I said, um, what did I say? One way to keep, keep your thing serviceable is just making sure that they're clean. I sprayed it down and I realized that this is backing out i need to come in and tighten this up and put it back in and make sure that this um gets in there nice and tight i've lost a i think a pin goes in here yeah you see this side got this little weird swirly paperclip looking thing and this one has nothing this was actually backed out of there um so i need to figure that out i do actually have a kit that has more of these uh more of these pins and things with it but that's it you want to make sure that your stuff is uh is clean so that you can notice different things like that sometimes i actually don't catch it until i'm trying to use something and i'm like well where did that pin go uh take these for instance i think i'm missing one on the other side that possibly just got snatched or grabbed by something and i didn't notice that it came off yeah this one here so, so if I unlock this pin, that whole wheel can just uh, drop out the bottom. Not too bad of a 
you know thing to fix i actually believe i got some of those as well like i said i got a some kit with a bunch of uh connectors and things like that but tractor has high and low gear um when you want to use its muscle you want to put it in low gear locking your four-wheel drive down here turn up your pto uh, uh turn up your kind of your i guess your rpms turn that up and you can lift pretty heavy with the bucket i think uh for the railroad ties back there i was able to with the pallet forks attached to it i was able to lift like three or four of them and i believe that they're at least 250 300 pounds a piece those big pieces of wood so uh, i was able to get it off the ground enough to where um where i could take it from the front driveway down the side over there and you know so i may have had to knock off one or two actually i loaded them up one one by one to put them on top but all in all it would have been it would have been a chore to drag those things by hand from the front of the house all the way back here remember that fence that fence on that side is i think 504 or 508 feet and they were almost at the very end of the fence on on this side over here but going back to the john deere i think it was a pretty good purchase it was one of those things where when we moved i needed i know i knew that we needed some kind of a workhorse and i was going between this and the kubota um things like bx25 or something like that and you know I, i'm i'm not disappointed with my decision and going with the john deere haven't had any real problems out of it i just recently start having issues to where if i'm running full speed um if i got the rpms all the way up and i'm in high gear i could cut the whole backyard it'll start to gurgle um and kind of almost like it's trying to go into limp mode or something like that but if you let it cool off for a second you're good did some googling on it i'm looking at some youtube videos and people said i need to get up onto the deck and uh change check the check or change the fuel fuel filter uh i actually don't know what side it's on but i did a quick search on google um on youtube so i know it's on the one of these sides that you need to go in pinch the fuel lines and um change out the filter this is one of the filters there but that doesn't seem to be the one that causes the issues from what from what I've, I've read but if anybody has anything particular you want to know about it or if you're interested in um you know asking any questions about the john deere 25r let me know um if i don't know it i'll research it and actually be able to kind of pinpoint and show it out show it to you let me see i'll fire it up put it in neutral This stuff is hydraulic lift. This lever here raises the deck as well as your um, my quick attach in the back. I'm gonna bring it all the way back to the top. That brings the deck off the ground. See that? I'm gonna drop it back down. This knob here is for your bucket.
forward pedal, a backwards pedal, 